you coming right now, right here from this parish, from this town. Pastor Hepburn is going to come and share a word. And I want you to open your hearts to receive what God has to say to us tonight. I want you to open your hearts to receive. Later on, we're going to have Kevin down as well. Godly, Godly. Godly Davis. But right now, please get ready for the word. Reverend Hepburn. and worship God, everybody. Come on, lift your hands and shout a praise, everybody. Shout a hallelujah tonight. Shout glory tonight. Somebody shout yes. Shout yes. I have a word from God for us tonight. Come on now. But I use a minute and a half out of my time to share with you a verse of some of your favorites. I have been on many of you, TikTok, YouTube, and all of that, and many of you have had me on your phones as a ringtone and don't even know. I'm happy every day as I travel through this land. I've been mighty blessed by God. And I'm holding to his hand. The turn is almost over. All the battles ready won. And I have a feeling the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. When I walk through the first door, for the first time I see. My God, and lead us not into temptation, but the latter portion, but deliver us from all evil. Somebody shout a praise. I used to coin my theme or my topic for this course, this discourse this evening, 
a part of the national anthem and a part of the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Father, deliver us from evil. Somebody shout a praise. Today we, or this evening, we gather brothers and sisters to reflect on a timeless plea that can be found in the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us from all evil. These words, my brothers and sisters, hold a deep significance, urging us to seek protection and guidance from our eternal Father. Somebody praise God. So we have been urged to get back to the place when we seek protection and guidance from our eternal Father. Hallelujah. The term eternal father can be and is connected to the national anthem which was spent over six decades ago, brothers and sisters. We live in a world today that is filled with challenges. Somebody say challenges. Filled with temptations. Filled with uncertainties. But amidst the uncertainties, the challenges, and the circumstances we are confident that we have somebody that we can call on somebody show the praise i say we are confident that we have somebody who we can call on oh god almighty some trust in chariots god almighty some in horses but do i have somebody who said i will lift up the name of the lord Hallelujah. Whilst others are looking to other agencies and entities, to other persons and other uh, gods carved out of marble and stone and they are about dead. We have a set of people gathered in central Jamaica. A set of people gathered in Denby, Karina. That will say, eternal Father, deliver us from evil. Oh, somebody shout a praise. Somebody shout a praise in this open space. Brothers and sisters, the notion of evil encompasses not only inter external forces, but also the struggles within ourselves. The battles between wrong and right, good and bad. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Somebody shout a praise. People of God, as we seek and ask for deliverance from evil, we acknowledge that our human limitation, acknowledge our human limitations and vulnerabilities. Am I talking to the people of God? And so this plea humbles us, reminding us that we are not invincible or unconquerable. And we require divine intervention to overcome the trials that come from us. Somebody praise God. So we need the Almighty God yes. to help us yes. overcome the challenges that come from us. Somebody shout a praise. Amen. Can I say to you, people of God, whilst others are looking to all different kinds of people and places, we still believe that this only Jehovah God can take us out of our crisis, can take us out of our conditions. Oh, somebody shout a praise tonight. Somebody shout a praise tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Tonight I want some godly people. I need some anointed, tongue-talking people to help me declare and cross this atmosphere. Evil will not prevail in our nation. Lord God, ungodliness and unrighteousness will not prevail in our nation. So I need some people who have gone to Sunday school, who have gone to Saturday school, who have gone to when I did in nominal or the Clapper Church to help me be clear that no place for evil. This is no nation that we're gonna accommodate evil. So we say upon the authority of the Holy Spirit, 
You come to concert, you come to Denby. But somehow you're feeling trapped. You're feeling bound. You're feeling tied up. But I need you to help me tonight. To be clear that evil plots and schemes will not be tolerated. Wickedness and unrighteousness will have to die. And God be exalted. All of the gods, they are the works of men. And he is the most high God. There's no God like Jehovah. Lift your hand and say, No God like Jehovah. Say, No God like Jehovah. So Jehovah will live up tonight. Lord God, every palm readers die. Every witch die. Every warlock die. Every voodoo spirit die. Every big magic die. And God be exalted. Somebody need me to pray for them tonight. I must be doing that. But tonight I believe that the evil plot sense schemes to our nation is now breaking. Somebody said break it, Lord. Be your hand like this. I said break it. Break it, Lord. Break it, Lord. Crush it up. Crush it up. Crush it up. Rub it out, Holy Ghost. Rub it out. And goodness we want. Righteousness. Hallelujah. Oh God Almighty. Jesus. Do I have some people who we want to worship? Oh my God, my God. Do I have some people who want to worship? And some of you leave your home and you don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. So you don't even know what's going to happen for the rest of the year. But I'm thinking, can I follow the Holy Ghost? Of the time. Yes. Every person. In here, you have a right foot and you have a left foot. Lift it up once and lift it up two times. And put it down and say, evil, we crush you. And we shall tread upon serpent and scorpions. And everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Some of you too, some of you too stush, some of you too proper. Some of you too sophisticated. Come on, let it go and crush it. Put it under your foot. Crush evil, crush wickedness, crush corruption, crush crime, crush it, crush it, rush, crush it, and shout deliverance for, and don't crush it, throw your hands in the air, and shout deliverance, say deliverance, deliverance, somebody shout, I feel the Holy Ghost, somebody, watch me, watch me, rock the sanctuary, somebody, somebody, yes sir, come, yes sir, yes Yes, yes, some persons, yes, yes, I hear somebody down there, yes, 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 that's the anointing, that's the anointing, that's the power of the Holy Ghost, he's going, Shakuria, sustain me, sustain me, worship, sustain me 30 more seconds, for a revival is about to break, my deliverance is about to break. God, God, your head. Yes. Some of you came to Denver to see the best cow, the biggest elephant, if there is any error, the biggest pig, the nicest fat. But you are seeing Jesus tonight. Is anybody seeing Jesus? Is anybody experiencing Jesus tonight? Right now, every accident that is awaiting in here, you are new. I stop it, I crush it. Some of you start praying like my God. Lord God, I send something on the body. Every road, fatality, and collision for anyone going back. I reverse it, I cancel it. I say the blood of Jesus is against that accident. That drunk driver, that careless driver that is about to wreck you and your family. We shut it down. Everybody, you need Jesus. You need to be delivered. You need to be rescued. You need to be saved. 
You want to say, excuse me, let me draw a little bit closer. So he can pray for me. Eternal Father. Yes, I see you coming. Come right there. Somebody else. Yes, I see them coming. That's fine, Uncle Tommy. Oh, hallelujah. We have the counselors also. Yes. There's some counselors in the red. Get ready. And be serious when you come into the altar. Be serious. This is a spiritual walk here. A spiritual walk here. Somebody open your mouth and say, Walk here. Walk here. Right now, the enemy is vexed, but you be vexed. Right now, Satan, right now, Satan is mad, Antinadi. But he must mad, but we come here to upset the kingdom of darkness and to elevate Jehovah's people are still coming. Give them way, give them way. We want to be praying for you. Jesus knows all about my struggles. He will come till the day is done.
of this deadly agricultural shop. Thank you for those who saw it fit to include a word for those who gather. Thank you for Minister Cohen and his team and the others. I pray, Holy Father, that you continue to inspire them, continue to keep them, Lord. I pray, God, that their boundaries and their borders will be extended. I pray, Holy Father, that no plot of hell will hinder the mission. But, oh God, they will carry out the mission effectively. And, oh God, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God, for these persons who have responded. Oh God, they are now bowing at this altar in a penitent way. Lord, I pray that you minister to them. I pray that somebody will go back to their private quarters saying, I'm healed, I'm healed, I can't hold it no longer. Somebody will walk out saying, I have been rescued. I have been delivered. I have been restored. Minister to these here tonight. Deliver somebody and help somebody to shout knowing that you are their deliverer. Thanks for salvation. Thanks for deliverance. Thanks for restoration. Thanks for hope. Thanks for victory. Thanks for breakthrough. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks, Jehovah. And we say, Amen. Having come, you're still standing at the altar. Having heard this brief message, but it has power, it has effect. Eternal Father, deliver me from sin, deliver me from unrighteousness. Will you say yes, Lord? Yes, there's a hand. Is there somebody who's saying yes, Lord? Yes, there's some hands going up. There's some hands Stop going it. up. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Hell has lost you now. Somebody, come on, somebody. Hell is disappointed because somebody was saying what sense this make about preaching and all of that. He, yes, it makes sense because we have people up here saying yes, Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're calling you to the denomination. We're calling you to Jesus Christ.